The United States and India could sign a limited trade deal at the end of this month. The two countries' leaders showed up together on Sunday at the Howdy Modi event in Houston, Texas, where over 50,000 people showed up giving India's PM a rock star level welcome. President Donald Trump joined him on stage as the two leaders lauded U.S. India ties. Modi not so long ago was persona non grata in the U.S. and classed as a terrorist. Now the prime minister of an SCO and BRICS nation cannot do enough to keep Trump happy, including the strange cuddles. And Trump confirmed that. You, India, have never had a better friend as president as President Donald Trump, he said. Under PM Modi's leadership, the world is witnessing a strong, sovereign republic of India. I remember not so long ago when PM Modi was denied a visa for the US and now there is a red carpet for him. Modi is now Trump's new best friend after his little disagreement with Xi. No telling how long this will last though before the topic turns to tariffs. According to the sources, the deal under discussion with India would lower some tariffs on U.S. produce and restore preferential treatment for some Indian exports to the United States. A deal between Washington and New Delhi would come amid Trump's protracted trade war with China. Trump has demanded better terms of trade from most of the top commercial partners of the United States, blaming previous deals for the loss of millions of U.S. manufacturing jobs. He has repeatedly complained about India's unacceptable high tariff rates, describing the country as the king of tariffs. India increased tariffs on 28 American products in June, after the Trump administration had withdrawn the country's special trade privileges. The withdrawal affected more than $5 billion worth exports from India to the United States. India mostly exports gems, pharmaceuticals, machinery, mineral fuels, and vehicles to the U.S. The duty on U.S. walnuts skyrocketed to 120%, while duties on chickpeas and some types of lentils were raised to 70%. Despite the tariff hikes, trade between the two countries has been growing and reached $142.1 billion last year. According to official U.S. statistics, India had a trade surplus of $24.2 billion. Just wait and see one day Trump will get pissed off at India too and the entire trivial love affair takes a nose-dive China style in a minute. India must be careful and also be wary of Trump, because he could do to them the same thing he did to China. Trump does anything that he wants to do regardless of the consequences of his actions. Was it not the same Trump who removed India from the list of developing countries? Trump changes his mind like he changes his ties. First he did it to Russia, and now it is China's turn. The US want India to leave the BRICS bank and need a partner against China, but India's better options is obviously friendship with China, India being a BRICS member which is now creating half of global GDP is way more important than any Trump claimed friendship. The CIA plan is to drive a wedge between India and China. Pompeo's been working on this since he was head of CIA and now sec of state. Kashmir has been convenient for CIA to send Islamic Jihad to stir up conflict there. U.S. is no friend of India or anyone else. U.S. is only for U.S. empire, Indians shouldn't believe these lies. America has no friends. Only vassals and enemies. The Indian economy could benefit by $11 billion as some international manufacturers move production to the country. On the other, the main hurdles are land laws and labor regulations, lack of proper infrastructure. India's possibilities of gaining a few crumbs is not going to put a dent in China's gigantic manufacturing world-class consumer and industrial product manufacturing capabilities. India has a long way to go to manufacture world-class product due to its first and second generation manufacturing plants and its old generation labor culture. Despite the windfall from USA-China's trade war, India will not gain any considerable amount of benefits. China has become the force to reckon with thanks to the greedy and immoral American corporate thieves who are responsible for China's incredible climb. India can rejoice at the expense of China. Enjoy it because it won't last. China has its sight at the bigger trophy, and that is what worries American. Confucius once said, he who flips, ought to consider flopping one day. The post-American world is already here. The US is stupid to believe that China can be pressured with the kidnapping of Meng Wanzhou or with sanctions on Huawei or with a trade deal with India. 
The Belt and Road Initiative is eliminating the dependence of China on the U.S. as a market, and the Made in China 2025 is eliminating the dependence of China on the U.S. as a supplier of high-tech products. India and the USA are welcome together, it's only later on the USA will show its true colors. Like the saying goes, it's dangerous being USA enemy, but deadly being its friend. Good luck Indians. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like. Share. And subscribe. Thank you.